हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अमन बेदी एस्ट्रोलॉजी आप लोगों का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है सो टुडे आई हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट श्याम कोहली सर मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी नोन सर फ्रॉम हिज पास्ट लेक्चर्स एंड आर्टिकल्स सर वेलकम वेलकम सर श्याम कोहली सर थैंक यू नमस्कार सभी को आशीर्वाद राइट सर सो दोज हुआ who don't know by any chance about sham koli sir he is a engineer ex engineer and he has more than what i read also 50 years yes 50 not 15 50 50 years of experience in jyotish and whenever i get the chance to go on facebook i always read sir's article and which i find very very scientific logical and somewhere i felt the connection with his articles with his approach and i requested sir he said please you have to come on my channel and teach us the basic fundamentals of jyotish which is very important and which is missing by many of the student so sir welcome again and thank you stage is all yours and please teach us the basic fundamental of jyotish and why it is so important welcome everyone may lord shiv bless each and every one yes sir before going to the astrology session yes sir let us first uh, understand what astrology can do sir why we take birth and how far astrologically we can rectify ourselves so these are the basic questions when we see anything we see astrology and most of the person have view that it is somewhere vague it does not uh, come correct and the prediction go fail many times so then what is the logic behind why prediction go fail and what is the how much we can predict this right. is the basic how much we can predict so right. my approach is totally scientific vedic astrology i have studied these since 1967 wow. when i uh, read all sanskrit literatures in the uh, over old text like uh, parashari mansagari uttar kalamrit right. and in original sanskrit so that i could understand the, their meaning properly right sir so i found that uh, there is much to know about that because our rishis used to tell their pupil that uh, this is the things and it was uh, passed on to the generations mm -hmm. and the logic they could have explained their students but that logic is nowhere in our literatures mm -hmm. why this is so why this is so so let's start with the beginning sir now astrology is just like a structure it is a structure of anything it can be structure of a marriage structure of a knowledge structure of anything a structure is there and any structure requires at least four pillars with a sound foundation sure. four pillars with a sound foundation so a structure is basically the these four pillars in astrology are house sign planet and nakshatra sure. without knowing these four we cannot predict anything sure. and even then we have to go deeper ji so there are four stages of learning that i used to uh, analyze these things a basic course includes this pre prediction there we require what is required for the uh, predictions that is karak sarvastak strength of pillars etc ji then prediction stage the various stages of our uh, life that is uh, education career health marriage etc yeah. and in the advanced stage higher exploration of these life aspects so these are the stages actually 
the most of the astrologers or our students try to understand this planet is in this house, this planet is in this sign, and house and sign, they mix up and they start predicting. <laughs> this is very raw approach that I'll uh, come later on, <laughs> that how we should predict uh, some uh, ideas about <laughs> Next, uh, before going to prediction, we must see that we, why we are born. Right. We are born due to our past karmas. Mm. In Gita or in any literature of any religion, you see, what we do, what we sow, we have to reap. Right. So for that, what karmas we have done, we have to face those uh, reactions. It is action and reaction. And for that, what body is suitable for us? Yes. That we, in that body we take the birth. That is why in our Hindu uh, literatures, if there are eighty-four thousand yonis. Yes. Yonis means the species types of yonis, yes. and it is not a very unscientific. Why it number eight eighty-four thousand have been chosen? Because there are the seven planets, yes. and the twelve is the houses. Yes. 12 into 7, 84, and there are 10 indriyas, 5 karmendriya, 5 ganendriya. This means 10 indriyas, and minimum especially required a 5 indriyas, then, then we go 10 to the power 5. This is my logic, and that's why it has come to the 84,000 yonis. Oh. So, yeah, this uh, is there. Now, we have been taking birth since many, many millions of years. We don't know exactly. Nobody knows. Right. So we have done lot many karmas. Right. There could be he may been a heap of the karmas. So much karmas. Right. Now one life is not sufficient to wipe out these karmas. Wow. So the total heap of karmas that is called sanchit karma. That is accumulated karma. Total up to now. And after this. Uh, in this life, we are allotted a little bit karma, a heap from the heap, we have taken a little bit and poured over all the 12 houses because we do the karma for our houses. Why? Yes. Because if we are uh, our first house, we use brain and body, second house, we speak, third house, we use the hands, fourth house, you uh, have homeland, etc. etc. Right. So, there is a drop of these uh, karmas on all houses. Right. This, whatever karma we have to clear out in this life, it is called prarabdha. It is the prarabdha karma. Right. And now, these are the two karmas. Right. So, prarabdha decides our life path. Right. The, just like our life GPS route right. is decided by the prarabdha. Right. And it is fixed. Nobody can change it. Yeah. When I have to move from this place, I will be there on that date. Right. This forces us to face the circumstances, our paristitiya. Circumstances we face due to the our prarabdha, our past karma. Past karma is one vector due to which we get the uh, this uh, past karma or is a fixed and it gives the circumstances. Circumstances means what situation will be in the surrounding. Surround. Suppose and in that surrounding, we have some freedom to act. Yes. There is a one force that is called freedom to act or action in this life. Right. Action in this life that is called the kriyamana karma, the current karma. Okay. Current karma is kriyamana karma. Yeah. This means that life runs on the resultant of these two vectors. Yeah. This vector is fixed, past karma. This vector we can change and the resultant will change. Yeah. So this means it is not deterministic. Events are not deterministic, but it can be changed to some extent. Yeah. It can be changed to some extent. This is the basic logic of the astrology. And that's why all these remedies, all these uh, puja part and these mantras and they act. If this is, would have not been there, then it would be a recycling machine. 
whatever karma we we you would have in machine then there is no use of astrology right so astrology means it shows that what errors you have done in the past or what good you have done in the past that comes with you in this life and that reminds you that in the past incarnation you have done something bad now be alert to not to follow that route again so these are the advices that is given for example one has to be bitten by the snake jesus what will happen the person will reach at that destination a snake will be there you will be there and he will try to bite you right. but if you are alert you can avoid the damage right you can avoid the damage right. now uh, this is the basic of this uh, karma theory right sir so next we come actually what we are right we are not a body we are made up of three parts our body is made up of three parts right sir. the body this is mind and this is soul right. these are the three parts so outer part is body that is physical part is body right. it is made up of five elements that is fire earth air water and space chitijal right. pavak gagan samira these are the five elements right. and these are the fire is controlled by the mars right. earth is controlled by the mercury air is controlled by the saturn water is controlled by the venus right. and space is controlled by jupiter that is tuesday to saturday right. tuesday to saturday that is five days right and these are the physical bodies right right this is a physical body right. now this physical body is uh, made up of this uh, earth elements and it uh, vanishes in the earth right. it is submerged in the earth now suppose a living person and dead person if both are lying you cannot differentiate yes. what is the difference he has got mind that is moon the mind why moon is required the moon is required actually when we take birth yes. then the programming of our past birth is there for pro- programming in a computer you require a hard disk ji so these data are Stone. imprinted on the hard disk and this moon is hard disk are all sanskars are there right. and why th- that is why this hard disk whenever you require you can take the d- data from that ji so this means it can it is why it represent the past it represent the past because you can the, the data on this disk is of the past oh, moon represent the past and body represent the present and sun represents the future these are the three uh, t- tenses of in uh, station very interesting sir so, yes so this moon uh, represents this now then comes the movement of the body cannot be without uh, the power right so if you take any electronic circuit or any gadgets yeah. you require a battery absolutely and this soul or sun is a battery right and this battery is there right and this uh, this uh, drives the your body and when this battery is exhausted then what happens with the death occurs yes the first uh, the first this body uh, there is movement no movement in the body right so this means mars element has gone right then moon uh, brain seizures and after that soul departs Depart. so this is the sequence of how the death happens mm. so this is the basic of this now when we have got three parts of the body then we have to understand that soul gives 24 by 7 command mm. and moon that reflects and body that act mm. so this is uh, denoted by here this is our karmic road path oh wow i tried to make this i have uh, assumed this, yeah i have assumed this uh, life as a vehicle right this is a car vehicle 
This is our body. Right. Now two lights are there that is sun and moon. These can be a father and mother right. in the early stage and in a higher stage your knowledge and your receptive powers. Right. So these are the without actually your body is there and if you don't have a headlight right. you cannot drive your vehicle in the darkness. No you can. Yeah. Uh, okay. It will collapse. It's, uh, it will take some accident. Right. So your sun and moon is required for your guidance to show the path. Right. And now what is the path? Rahu and Ketu is the path, this road on which you have to move. Right. Rahu and Ketu. Rahu is the uh, front portion. That is why you want to eat it. Rahu and Ketu is just like a snake. Right. That, that's why I made road this like a snake. Right, right. Rahu is the head. That is whatever comes in the way, it tries to grasp it. Right. That's why Rahu represents the material. Right. That is what is Rahu. Rahu is actually our past passions that we could not uh, complete due to the lack of time, energy or circumstances. Absolutely. For example, suppose there was an old person and he had a uh, lust for a lady. Yeah. How he thought this that I will do. Now he is an old person. Right. Either he could not manage due to the energy right. or he could not manage due to the circumstances. But right. lust has been in the mind. Right. And in other incarnations, when he will come right. in other incarnation, right. then he will try if circumstances comes then this Rahu will force to try to fulfill those desires that he could not fulfill in that uh, incarnation. So this is Rahu. Now, Vahik, yeah. So then vehicle moves forward. Then what happens? In the old systems, there was a uh, this uh, smoke coming from the vehicle. So this smoke is coming. That is the discharge. Discharge path is K2. In the horoscope, you see where Ketu is there, that house affair you have to discharge in this life. And where Rahu is there, you have got the passion for that house. You will be more indulged to squeeze out the things from that house. Totally, makes sense. I... totally makes sense. So the, this is the karmic road path. Very now, interesting, sir. Okay, sir. Now uh, I come to one more point uh, that uh, it is asked that uh, which planet is for knowledge, which planet is for marriage, which planet is for profession. Right. And uh, mostly if our profession, the public says, oh, Saturn, Saturn is a karma karak and this, this. No, I don't believe in this with, I'll put this with logic. Please, I'll please, put this logic here. I look forward. Yeah. So uh, actually, I put this logic here. First of all, I have made this diagram to show that energy flow of planets, right. how the energy flows from planets to planet inside our body or action. Right. All planets are required for any action. First thing, right. suppose you have to pick a thing, then your brain will first act first house. Right. Then your eyes will see second house, second. then your head will move third house, right. and so on. You go on analyzing. Wow. But there are few houses or few signs, they are more, more important, but that there will be contribution of all planets. Right. Now we uh, take this. This is the sun, that is the soul, and this is the entry gate. Right. Now, sun, soul has got gives the command 24 by 7 signals reflecting from the sun, just like a rays of the sun. This is reflected by the moon. Moon is our mind. And we all know in the science also, the sun the moon reflects the sun rays. That is the, it is reflected the, by the mind. Mind, or you can say thought process. And it goes to our mercury. Mercury, I call, is a computer processor of our body. Right. Mercury is computer processor of our body. It can be anything slow to the very fast, like Pentium very slow. 
it can be very fast like i7 and onwards right. which right. we have got today depending so, upon the soul to soul depending upon soul to soul and depending on the mercury position right. what is your computer processor it can be very well analyzed right. by the mercury sign and mercury nakshatra right. because this absorbs the signals from the atmosphere Absolutely. universe right. so mercury is a receptor right. signal receiver right. from the cosmos right. so it can be analyzed. that is the separate uh, topic that we can uh, mercury is a very big topic right. and the first right. we have to see this book right. now from the moon in the past life we had some desires right. in our Right. So Venus is the planet of desire. Desires. The first stage is love, the second stage is desire, and the third stage is lust. lust. We, uh, due to which we cannot live without lust. Right. So Venus is the desire. desire, and this signal also goes to the Mercury. Mercury. Then there are two signals: one from the Moon and other from the Venus. These both are going here, and they are processed. they are processed and goes to the for action that is brain signal goes for the action command goes now whatever this is this all happens inside our body right. inside our body that's why these are called inner planets inner planets that's why called inner planet now whatever comes out of our inner planet then uh, in our uh, life we say that we have to face the karma and karma phala okay. then there should be some recorder okay. there should be some recorder to record our events right so recording is done on the two level that is on physical and mental level okay. and this case this is recording is just like a uh, chitragupt okay. in garud purana we have seen the chitragupt sitting on the shoulders shoulders Right. his shoulders are 180 degree opposite right. and that's why rahu and these i call rahu and ketu they are 180 degree always opposite rahu and ketu sir beautifully explained so this ketu is the mental recorder whatever has come in your mind it may be executed on the physical plane and it may not be executed on the physical plane but the signal from the inner uh, this brain inner has come out this will be recorded that this was your signal Same. so this is called this i called ketu as a mental recorder okay. now this goes to the this gives the command for the movement which is the planet for movement only one planet is for movement that is mars which is called a kinetic energy okay. a energy that tries to move the things or moves the things right so this is mars in uh, our literature we can also say that mars is just like a monkey <laughs> it jumps from this direction to this direction this direction to this direction right. but actually the monkey does not know where to go right. and what to do. right because he has got ample energy and it he is dissipating his energy right. so who is required to guide uh, lord brahaspati yeah jupiter this is a guide or direction right. this command goes to jupiter right and jupiter guides you where to go now this jupiter will take you to the tunnel of the saturn right. saturn is just like a tunnel right. you can see a tunnel right. now this tunnel can be a wide it can be a very narrow depending on your karmas karma. if you have done a bad karmas your tunnel is very narrow right. and whenever you pass that through that tunnel there will be scratches and abrasions right on that right so that's why people suffer right. when saturn dasha or sare sati shani dasha comes but those who have done a good karma in the past they have a white tunnel Right. and they easily pass through that right. right so this is not to blame that saturn dasha has come and we will be facing oh, my god what saturn dasha we will be in a trouble and this and this so we start going a 
pouring her oil and giving her urad dal. What is that? I understand this. That by putting a oil, you just want to lubricate that tunnel. <laughs> you just want to lubricate that tunnel. And by urad dal, you see it acts as a bearing right. to slide the things properly. This is only a symbolic. No oil or no uh, this thing will act. And we I, will give I, you. I can time. see, sir, your engineering mind behind this logics. <laughs> Actually, basic thing learning is to put the why. Question why. Why? Yes. If Absolutely. one cannot put the question why, he cannot learn. No. He will be submissive to the circumstances, submissive to the other's knowledge, and a copier of other's knowledge. Right. Yes. 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 Absolutely, sir. Absolutely well said. So after this Saturn, when signal goes out. then it is exit gate and karma is completed so this means whenever you see any aspect of the life or profile whether it is a marriage whether it is a profession you have to go through through these all now mostly you see saturn jupiter mars okay this transit is is it is this looking this this is looking this and even then the work does not happen right so we have to see where the signal is stopping right 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 it may it may be coming here for the action but the jupiter is blocking right. or saturn is blocking this means if saturn is bad you need to have jupiter control oh. you have to rectify your jupiter not the saturn very interesting sir very interesting as uh, in the remedy section whenever you go yeah. or when it goes then he has to think what is the disease and the cause of the disease then uh, you should uh, advise so first of all you we have to analyze all the planets yeah. properly to find out which planet is causing the problem in our household right. and uh, why this is all causing right. we can find the clues for that right sir right so this is the part uh, that uh, uh, is uh, of energy flow yes. then we can take a part on uh, a, uh, this uh, an example of the house if you uh, have got time please then, yes sir i have all yeah, the time sir i can explain please, that please. we have to understand from the basic what is the house Yes. A simple second house. I will try to explain. Yes, please. Uh, if please, it allows, please. Are you want to have a break? You can have. Or no, I'm you... good, sir. I'm good, sir. I'm very excited and both mazaa are like very interesting. Now, we have seen in our literatures first house, this second house, this third house, this. Right. But have you ever uh, thought why? Right. Yeah, why? <laughs> why these things are uh, denoted by these houses? Yes, yes. So for that, we have to go from the basics. Right. This is fourth house is our mother house. Right. Fifth house is a son house that is father, and we are the product of mother and father. Okay. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Now you see from this fourth house, Jay. we take nine months. you count and if this is the first house is the 10th right 10 so yes. up to 9 months we are inside the mother, mother and in the 10th month we take the birth right. so this we have to see now there are two approaches i found, uh, do to right. explain basically the astrology time it is very ancient and then there was a only profession farming Right. farming or agriculture was the only profession in that our agriculture based professions were there only and so whatever comes in our circumstances we uh, relate those things so astrology was very well related with those and i found it is absolutely right how a uh, one example i will show on the please. second house please now in the second house it is the house of the field it is a field where seed is sown we drop the seed inside the field yes. now what happens 
when we drop the seed here, then it will germinate after some time. Right. It will germinate after some time. Now, we, we drop one seed, then it becomes multi seeds. After uh, this crop becomes multi seed. This means one to multi. Jay. One to multi. Jay. It is just like the expansion of the family. Right. One seed was there and it was an expansion of the family. family. Now, this comes the family. Right. Second house is family. family. Now, in the first house, we were born, we were uh, in, not in a position to speak anything. Right. Whatever we required, we have to cry. Right. And the mother used to see what is the meaning of uh, the child cry. And accordingly, she used to manage. But in the second house, we have become a little bit uh, stronger. In the first house, we have taken only the milk of the mother. But in the second house, we are trying some semi-solid and solid foods also. Right. So right. this is the uh, solid food to sustain our life or to uh, complete our basic need, to fulfill our basic needs. Right. Now, whenever uh, we come in this family house, right. then the, we are all speaking. So child learns to try to speak. Right. And this is the house of mother language. Right. It is the basic house of the basic uh, education. That is very primary education, you can say, which is learned at the uh, home or family. Um, so he tries to learn this. Whole. Now, uh, whenever it, uh, now, now the child is about two to three years right. in the second house. Whenever he goes out, he holds the finger of the parents right. or person. Right. So, because he is still in the fear that I may fall. Right. So, the holding of the finger, this means the hold or possession. That is the why it holding or possession is the uh, denoted by this. This Very is good. our this Very is good. our foundation store. Now, this um, seeds are when crop is ready, then it will be stored. Right. And the storage, all storage, warehouses and other things, in the modern terms, you can correlate all those things. All our uh, uh, storage uh, uh, places, yeah. like warehouses and other things, cold storage, we all are denoted by the second house. Right. So, uh, this way you can uh, move. Now, the second very interesting thing, wow. second thing I take accordingly, the body parts. First house denotes up to this portion, up to right. there. All right. Second house is our this portion mouth. This is denoted by the second house. You can see the lips, mouth, cheek, nostrils, jaw, and chin, and eyes. These are the things denoted by the second house. Now you take one by one. And you will find many things. For example, the eyes. Right. Uh, eyes, you see the scene. This means our first vision of anything comes here. Now, when you relate eye, then anything related to the eye will be seen by the second now. Just as the kazal, the eyelids, or you can see the uh, this uh, tonics for the eyes, yeah. then these were not given in the books of ancients, but you can correlate now these things. Right. Now you see the cheek, you see the mouth to ingress the food. Right. So ingress the food, you see mouth, lips, you can see. And this is all things that from the mouth, you take the food right. and you digest it. but. Can you hold this food forever? Right. No. Right. You have to discharge in the eighth house. In the eighth house. Yeah, the toxins coming out. Yep. Yeah. And now nostrils, you take the air. Right. You cannot hold for a long. Right. This means in the second house, whatever we have, we take, we have to discharge in the eighth house. Right. 
we cannot hold it for a long right so sir, these sir, are if if you don't mind sir i have a, a question so yeah. on a basic level if someone is having a because you have briefly gone into a second house yeah. so if someone is having a obstruction in the second house we can say that they can have problems or some kind of affliction related to the uh, the part of the head or the nose or the eye can we say that yeah if second house actually we must see at least three things okay a house must be afflicted okay then the second sign must sign. be afflicted. right right and the karak the karak for everything is there yes that should be afflicted okay. and the maximum affliction means more problem right. if there are two afflicted then it can be managed properly so in judging these things we have to see that three vectors in medical astrology we have to minimum see three vectors it was very important to discuss so that's why i thought to brought it up no 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 problem you can also actually i am not the person who is hiding anything i, I am very open i am very open because i know i i flow the things that from there it will come <laughs> right because the vacuum will be created right because in the presentation you have gone really deep so that's why i thought because many of the viewers might think that if we have obstruction or any kind of affliction so yes, can we have I, a problem related to this so it totally makes sense yes first you analyze where is the problem okay then what is the remedy right then in medical astrology they, it also shows whether you can treat it via surgery or allopathy or uh, ayurvedic or traditional other methods or healing methods it it will definitely show sure. so this medical astrology is also a, you know a very big topic so we have to ji yeah. ji now there is one more concept or you say illusion mostly among astrologers also right and we say that eighth house the ruler is mars ji yeah. we say Uh, Scorpio sign is there, ruler is Mars. Aries right. sign is there, ruler is Mars. Right. But have we thought that these two sign ruler Mars? Yes. They are quite different. Right. They are quite different. Mars is natural ruler of the first house and the eighth house. Yes. Why? First house we are born, and eighth house our energy sinks. It is the house of death. Right. life and death right so is scorpio is the sign of death and aries is a sign of life right. life means movement so there is a few uh, comparison i have done yeah. aries is active more use of the body outward with passion absolutely scorpio is active use of intense emotion the wherever water sign comes it is emotion yeah. there are three water signs Four, eight, and twelve. Four is a Ganga jal. It is pure Ganga jal, and there is nothing uh, bad because it is the house of mother. Mother is pure. Yeah. Wow. And eighth is our uh, this uh, sewage because stool is discharged here. Bathroom sewage water. Right. And twelfth is our sea. so the, when we come to the professions and other things yeah. we have to see that which profession all these uh, inner meanings play very great role yeah. absolutely so second point is movable so action packed first house is aries aries is a fire fire means initiation initiation fire yeah. Yeah. so and this is a fixed eighth is a fixed because it is at one place yeah. and first is a new beginning new product new thoughts right. and eighth is a recycling right. because from the sewage plant whatever goes in the sewage then we recycle it and fertilizers and other things are carried out Absolutely. by the that sewage plants so this is a recycling right. so uh, these are few differences there are uh, many things like saturn also that is capricorn and aquarius then gemini and Mer uh, this gemini and uh, this virgo mercury 
So all these things uh, are a big topic. Then we can use it. Right, right, right. Whenever you want, uh, you can have a break for the second session. I'm good, or... sir. I'm I'm good. I'm very fascinated with your slides right now. Okay. So now we actually come to the uh, second topic you you have asked about uh, this uh, planet and their strengths. Right. right. How so, let's it? let's do this in a separate segment. So okay. I really want to thank you for this beautiful slides because uh, I think it, this slides itself is a kind of a crash course on on basic fundamental of jyotish. So I am really happy, sir. I am really happy to have you, and I am really happy to see all these slides with the logics behind it. So so thank you, thank you so much, sir. Okay, thank you.